He is known for being an English author and academic who published poetry, fiction, and criticism. He spent several years teaching at Keio University in Japan and continued to publish after returning to England. Recognized for his works on classicism in British art, his travel book on Japan, and his survey of English literature, his name is Walter Sherrod Vines, also known as Sherrod Vines. In the world of literature, one name stands out, Walter Sherrod Vines, better known as Sherrod Vines. Born in England, Vines was not only an accomplished author but also an esteemed academic. His journey into the realm of literature began in the early 1910s when he started publishing his poetry. However, it was in the 1920s that he embarked on a life-changing adventure. Vines spent five transformative years teaching at Keio University in Tokyo, Japan. This experience not only broadened his horizons but also provided him with a unique perspective on Japanese culture. After returning to England, Vines continued to share his experiences through his writing. One of his notable works, Yafuku, or Japan in Trousers, was a travel book that critically examined various aspects of Japanese culture. But Vine's literary contributions extended beyond his travel writing. He delved into the study of classicism in British art with his book, The Course of English Classicism from the Tudor to Victorian Age. This work explored the evolution of classicism in British literature and its impact on the artistic landscape. Additionally, Vines penned, A Hundred Years of English Literature, a comprehensive survey of literature from Britain, the British Empire, and the United States. Sherrod Vines' literary works not only showcased his talent as an author but also left a profound impact on the field of literature. His critical observations of Japanese culture in Yafuku, or Japan in Trousers, opened up discussions and encouraged a deeper understanding of different societies. Furthermore, his study of classicism shed light on the influence of this artistic movement on British literature. And with A Hundred Years of English Literature, Vines provided readers with a comprehensive overview of literary achievements across nations. Sherrod Vines' dedication to his craft and his contributions to the literary world will forever be remembered. His works continue to inspire and enlighten readers, reminding us of the power of literature to bridge cultures and shape our understanding of the world. In the early 1920s, Sherrod Vines embarked on a unique journey to Japan. He accepted a teaching position at Keio University in Tokyo, thanks to an invitation from Junzaburo Nishiwaki, a translator of his works. It was during this time that Vines crossed paths with another English poet, Edmund Blunden, who was also teaching in Japan at the Imperial University of Tokyo. Vines wasted no time in immersing himself in the Japanese literary scene. He contributed short stories to Blunden's Oriental Literary Times, including the semi-autobiographical tale, Also Ran, which explored the frustrations of an author yearning for recognition. In 1925, Vines published a critical biography of the renowned Japanese writer Yon Noguchi, showcasing his deep appreciation for Japanese literature. Not only did Vines excel in academia, but he also became a tutor to Yasuhito, Prince Chichibu, from 1925 to 1927. This connection allowed him to delve even deeper into Japanese culture and forge meaningful relationships. One such friendship was with the South African author William Plummer, who described Vines as a neglected yet distinguished poet, unappreciated in a literary world fixated on popular names. During his time in Japan, Vines continued to cultivate his own poetic voice. In 1926, he published a poetry collection called The Pyramid, which garnered critical praise for its intellectually profound exploration of despair and disillusionment. His verse resonated with readers due to its piercing intensity and its reflection of a world stripped of meaning. As Vines immersed himself in the vibrant Japanese literary landscape, he not only left an indelible mark on his students but also discovered a profound connection to the country and its literature. His experiences in Japan would greatly influence his future works, cementing his status as a poet with a deep understanding of both English and Japanese literature. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.